Welcome back. Today we show you how you can deal with hosts that have dynamic IP addresses. Okay, so today I again have Robin with me. Hi Robin. Um, so there are some situations where hosts have dynamic IP addresses. That means they not only can change, but they do that on a regular basis. For example, uh, if you have an internet connection and get a new IP address every day, or another example, you have wireless access points that are managed via DHCP, so you don't have fixed IP addresses. And mm -hmm. if IP address changes during the monitoring, um, you would get a host that it's basically down, don't you? Yeah, exactly. So um, in this situation, um, we have a solution where the um, IP address of the device is not looked up during the activate changes, but it's looked up every time um, the host is checked. So there's a rule set for yeah, that. That's important difference. Right, exactly. Because normally you would uh, configure the host with a host name that would um, resolve into an IP address when you activate your changes, and then it would never change. And as you said, um, the host yeah. would go down in that scenario if the IP address changes. I mean, you, you, uh, in order to, uh, to, to be clear, in CheckMK you have a host name field where you can enter host name and you have an IP address field. And if you leave that empty, you get a DNS lookup of the host name, but right. only at activate changes. And that doesn't happen automatically during monitoring. So yeah. by this new rule, which we will uh, show right now, you can get the lookup at every single check that is done once per minute. Exactly. So what's the drawbacks? Um, why, why wouldn't I do this for all hosts? Yeah, well, in the first place, it doesn't make sense generally because for your servers, for example, or network devices, those IP addresses won't change on a regular basis. If they change, that possibly is or probably is an yeah, error, okay. so you want to get notified. You want to get to know that it's exactly. also also you would be uh, dependent on, on a working DNS for the monitoring. So if the exactly yeah sure that okay. would be there in the f have to be there in the first place. So yeah. usually it's it's very good to have fixed IP addresses or or at least uh, just it activate changes. But in right. these special situations, you use dynamic IP addresses. So so let's see how you can figure that and check MK. Exactly. Let's dive in. So we see here. Um, our Wi-Fi access point, our example access point, it just has a host name, um, no IP address configured, nothing else. It's just a simple host. Um, I already created this host in advance. So if you now have a look at the monitoring status, you see the host name and you see there is an IP address that has been looked up. This has been done during activate changes. So the IP is written down here. It's used in the active monitoring configuration. Um, but it's not dynamically looked up uh, on every check. Um, so now we want to go ahead and create a rule that enables this host for dynamic um, DNS lookups. So we simply search for dynamic. Then we want to take the rule hosts with dynamic DNS lookup. Recreate a new rule. And there's nothing much to configure. It's basically just a positive match. So we want to add that host to the set. Um, in the conditions, we need to choose the host. In the real world, you would probably use some kind of labels or host, uh, or host labels or tags. Um, in this situation, as we only have one example device, I'm simply um, using the explicit host setting, use that host there, and save the rule. So that's basically it. Now I'm going to go ahead and change and activate the changes. And then we will have a look at our host, what has changed and how it's behaving now. So the changes are activated. So we haven't changed anything in the host configuration, actually. Exactly, right. You can Just see there's nothing changed. It's not obvious yeah. from the host. It still only has a name. Um, and as we already activated the changes, we now look at the monitoring status, and now you can see the host name is still there. But now a weird thing happened, and now you see the host name in the IP address field. Um, and that basically tells you that this host is doing a dynamic DNS lookup. So in the moment the check is performed against the host, it's performing a DNS lookup first, and then it checks the host. It's very interesting. Uh, we now get this graph. 
Why? Right, we get graphs, yeah. which we didn't have before, bepo because before this host was using our smart ping, um, but the smart ping can only work with IP addresses. It can't perform DNS lookups. It's yeah. blazing fast, but it has to have an IP address. I know, because I've programmed it. <laughs> 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 yeah, the smart ping is really super, super fast, because it, uh, it can do many, many pings in parallel, thousands, ten thousands, but just yeah. needs the, the basic IP addresses. Right, exactly. Uh, if if Jack here doesn't has an have an IP address, it has a name, it automatically switches over to the plain classic uh, ping. Yeah. And that produces metrics. So that's the reason why you see metrics. That's why we're seeing the graph there, right. It's it's obvious. Um, it's a change in the technology, but in the end it does the same job, just differently, but it will still make sure yeah. your host is up and running. So that's that's all. Just by the way, if you want to have these graphs with the round trip average from ping. There is a more direct way if you just want to the graphs and not the dynamic lookup. Uh, you can change the host check command to make a classical ping here. So right. don't use the dynamic DNS for getting the graphs. There's a direct way. Yeah, that's just a side effect basically. Yeah. So that's it. Thanks. That, that was all. Up. So see you next time.